All right. So, um, as you can see, I'm having a drink. This has been one hell of a roller coaster with this truck. I'll tell you, everything went smooth up until getting uh, the transmission to work properly. <clears throat> I had it out three times. Um, I got that Serta replacement. I put that in. And still didn't fix, still did the same exact thing. So that basically ruled out, because it was a known good part. So that ruled out the first transmission, the one I rebuilt. That's fine. I'm sure of it, because this transmission was doing the same exact thing that one was doing after I installed it. So I looked a little deeper. And uh, I did a little bit more research into it, and I checked the wiring uh, again. It's all perfect. From the transmission up to the ECM, it is 100% pinned correctly. And there is no codes in the ECM for transmission. If something was backwards or something was wrong, it would trip a code for sure. So... I uh, I did a little research and I uh, I went on HP Tuner's website and I did a lot of reading. I read and I read and I read and I read all kinds of transmission related problems in uh, a, a forum, an HP Tuner's forum, and. Um, Basically, I got my tune-up. I just registered one of Matt's P59 tune-ups that he had for the Don't BS Me build. And even though I flashed that tune into the car, into the ECM, I still had to do a segment swap, 4L80E segment swap. From a, from a stock tune file off the tune repository and I do believe after I did that segment swap even though it said it was a 4L80E in a tune up I don't think it was correct I don't know if the chipset was flashed or I don't know but uh, I've been out driving this thing for the past two hours it shifts perfect I mean, right through all the gears. You can shift it manually, and it shifts. You can put it in third, and it goes one, two, three. You can put it in overdrive, goes one, two, three. I took it down the highway. I went everywhere. I had to fiddle with the tune a little bit because it was going really lean at 50 kPa and about 1500 RPM. It was running like 17, 17.0. 17.5, 18s I was seeing. That's like cruising. Like, you know, you're on the highway at 65. RPM drops down to like 1800, 1700. It was going dead lean, like 17. So I had to up all that by about 15%. So I threw 15% more sauce at it. And that lower register and it came right up to 14.7, 14.6, which is perfect. And uh, and it drives great. It drives like a fucking brand new car. I can't believe it. I mean, you go to stoplights, it stops. It idles down to 700 RPMs. The cam sounds choppy as a motherfucker. Uh, I laid into it a few times, so I'm, like I said, I, I have the boost controller off. So it's only four pounds of boost. So it's been perfect. So I'm gonna get some more video tomorrow and I'll let you, I'll get some, capture some video tomorrow. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, here comes all the fun stuff that we're gonna be doing with it. Now that it's running, I can start wicking it up a little bit. So, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe below. And uh, if you have any questions or any, any need any help with anything, let me know.